Creating a saving and loading system for your game is an incredibly important step as it allows users to save their progress and let them keep coming back to your game in the future. You'd be hard pressed to find a modern game that doesn't have some sort of save feature, but setting it up can be pretty tedious if you don't do it right. In the next two minutes, you'll see exactly how to get your game set up using interfaces to make a very easy to use save and load system, which you can extend. Let's get started. Now you have your save and load system created, you'll be able to expand it to fit your needs. By implementing the interface we made on any object you need to save data on, you'll be able to save and load data for anything you need within your game. You'll be able to save all sorts of data, such as in-game money, health, or even the position of all enemies within your game, although that might be a little much, just by using the saveable interface to save and load all the user data. I hope this helps, thank you for watching, goodbye!